Hey, what's going on? This is Brookie. Um, I'm, uh, I just got done setting up this uh, current, recent Fender Mustang guitar, which I showed recently. Also, <laughs> it had 10s on for strings, 10 through 46. I just put 9 through 42s on. The reason I did that is it's got uh, strings go through the back, and that makes the string longer, so there's more tension on it. So I thought these would feel better with nines. I checked with the customer. He said, go with the nines, Brooke. Cool. So uh, I was just doing a little final intonation. Oops, there we go. It's a quick way to check see if it sounds pretty good. So yeah, I straightened the neck a little more and uh, adjusted string height and intonation. Got it sitting where I like it. Spend a little time with the guitar. It's kind of Sounds better than my uh, 67, whatever that is, wherever. Um, hey, I did an online, I participated in an online lesson with uh, Eddie Angel and Greg Townsend from Low, Low Straight Jackets, and uh, they showed us how to do Linus and Lucy. It's uh, in the key of A flat. It starts with these chords, which is uh, D flat to E flat bar chords. Are you familiar with those? That's where you lay your index ring or your index finger very straight across a fourth fret, bring in ring finger, lay it flat. Ooh, that worked good. Nice. So this looks like an A chord here. And that's a movable shape. You got to clamp down pretty hard like this. So we've got it goes up a whole step. That's a two fret jump on guitar. And then there's the... Uh, and that's an A flat, which is your index is very straight and flat across the fourth fret. Bring in middle ring pinky. Make an E shape here. Four, five, six frets. I'm going... So I let off, I release a little bit and get like a kind of a muted sound and do a downstroke, then up. And that's the rhythm part until you go. And back to. Strings are still stretching, of course. So the lead part that Greg plays is something like this. Greg said that he lays his index finger flat at the eighth fret. Brings in middle on the tip to the uh, uh, ninth fret of the second string, and ring finger goes to tenth fret of the fourth string. And he said he's hitting each note. Uh, He's hitting like two strings at the at each each downstroke is two strings. And the pinky is coming on is pressing down at the 11th fret of the second string. I 
have swore he was hitting the fourth string. Maybe the first downstroke is that tenth fret of the fourth string, eighth fret of the third string. That's probably your first downstroke. Then try your second and your third and second strings. No, okay. Rewind. Okay, I think this is better. You're gonna play the fourth and third string. Your first downstroke, then add your pinky to the second string. Uh, 11th fret, then play the 1st and 2nd strings, so that's then reverse it oops I think that's right So it's, it's the 4th and 3rd strings, 2nd and 3rd strings, with pinky added, now 1st and 2nd strings, hit it again, add that pinky at the 11th fret, now take pinky off, add pinky, pinky off cat hairs all over my face. I've been playing with my cat. <laughs> like, ah. Oops. How you doing with that shape? It's a cool shape. It's it's like a C chord with a capo, you know, so the, your index finger is the capo, so it looks like a C. That's from the caged system, C-A-G-E-D, caged system, where you take E-A-D-G, E-A-D-G, C chord shapes up the neck and bar to make new chords. It's kind of like your index is a capo. think if you fiddle around with that you can figure it out and then when Eddie goes I believe Greg goes so that is the index finger on the fourth fret pressing down on two skinny strings and then he hammers on to the second string sixth fret Probably does a down stroke, hammer on, then up stroke. Maybe down stroke, up, down, up, down, up, down. That's a common lick. I mean, it's just like. But it's got kind of a. It really sounds like piano, you know. Sounds pretty good an octave up. All right. So 
So that's a little bit of Linus and Lucy. There's that da da da, which is you just do the same thing. Um, see what I thought it was. I thought Oops That's what I thought which my version looks like this I always got changed, you know, because I can't learn things properly. I have to do my own thing. So I'm doing kind of uh, which is middle and index four and five. I'm picking like this here. Then I bring middle finger up one fret to sixth fret ring on the same fret. Same fret, eighth fret, so again it's, it's a little angle shape, a four and a six, double sixes, double eighths, That's what I thought it was and then I thought it would be like which sounds pretty good you know that's like a B6 where you got your index flat here ring lays flat on four strings then I add my pinky at the sixth fret which makes B6 to a B major seven and then oops It's like an F shape, good old F up here is uh, four, four, five, six. Add pinky, first string, sixth fret, if you did it my way. what's crazy about guitar is you can play the same thing on multiple areas while on a piano it's just kind of like hey there's the right key it, that's the only key that will work while guitar you got the same note you know one two three four five different places so it's like where do you play it like you got to figure that out yourself <laughs> or I'll tell you uh, cool so I'm just hanging out, thinking Christmas songs here. This is a Made in Mexico Mustang with no whammy bar. Good sounding pickups. Green Guard, a cool kind of copper gold. Subtle. Kind of desert sand look, actually. Nice little guitar. Very, very cool. Probably not super expensive. <laughs> And there's a bridge in the song I forgot already. So I'll, if anybody wants to learn that bridge, I can go learn it and make you a video just for that. But if you're looking for a, an inexpensive, nice little Fender, consider the Mustang. It's, I like it. Once it was set up properly, seems really musical and well, be, well behaved, I was going to say. All right, I better get doing something today. What's the what's the plan? <sighs> I'll think of something. A hustler never rests. See ya.